I spent the last 30 days carrying 100 pounds on my back to train for some massive hiking trips this year. So today is day one of my Ruck Everyday Challenge. I wanted to see how this challenge was going to affect my body, so I started out by weighing myself. 78.5 kilos. Taking a few measurements. Right calf, 38. And taking a few videos of myself. So the bag that I chose to use is one of my old hiking backpacks that I loaded up with a bunch of uh, gravel from the train tracks and a few bricks I found laying around. So I'm interested to see how much it actually weighs. I'll bring that up and we will find out. So I started training like this because I got the opportunity to travel with a new group of friends and we're going to be attempting to climb the highest peak in every country in Europe. So I was 78.5 kilos, 41 kilos, which is 90 pounds. That adventure is going to begin soon and we'll be documenting the whole thing on a YouTube channel called Before Death. Gotta wait for the train. Just walked down to my local park. It was 1.7 kilometers to get here. Uh, it took me 22 minutes. It's pretty tough, a lot of strain on the shoulder. The feet are starting to get a little sore. They're gonna have a quick break here for a few minutes and then head back home. It's only day one. Let's head back. Just about an hour to go three and a half kilometers. I had quite the long break. It's a good starting spot. Probably could have pretty easily done double that distance, but I'm gonna do this again tomorrow and for the next 30 days. So no point killing myself on the first day. The first week was tough, but manageable. Day two. Day three, let's do it. Day five. Day six. Day seven. Another three and a half kilometers. Feet are really sore. 35 degrees today. Should have got out earlier. My legs are extremely pumped today. Just got back from a camping trip. A little bit tired, but we got it. Really wasn't feeling it this morning. Got moving, got the pack on, and feeling great now. So after the first week, I decided to use some old water bottles and up the weight to an even 100 pounds. But this may have been a bit too ambitious because this is when I really started to feel the challenge. I'm starting to feel like I'm falling behind in my recovery here. My feet are getting sore and sore every day. I'm starting to get some kind of like pinching or tightness in my trap area. I'm gonna have to do some stretching, stay off my feet as much as possible, do what I can to recover to be able to complete these 30 days. All right, day eight. My feet were really taking a beating yesterday and they're still sore this morning. Today I drove to the park and I'm gonna be doing some barefoot walking on the grass. So a little less impact on my feet than just pounding along on concrete. See how this goes. Just finished 60 minutes on grass, did five kilometers and it actually felt a lot easier on my feet than regular. So I think I'm gonna do uh, quite a bit more walking on the grass. Back at it again for day nine. Came back to the field here, another barefoot walk. Felt a lot better yesterday. My feet are starting to feel better, even though I did almost double what I normally do. For day 10 and 11, I went on an overnight hike with a slightly lighter backpack. This hike was 12 kilometers each way and left me feeling under recovered. Day 12 and feet are feeling it today. So I'm back on the grass. Despite the soreness, I was still able to stay consistent with the challenge. Day 13, both my feet are killing me. I think I've just been pushing it a little bit too hard. Day 14, I decided to do this challenge specifically because I felt that my weak point for my Day long 15, hikes is always my feet, ankles, and knees. I may have started this off a little too aggressively. I feel like my muscles can handle the distance, but my joints take a lot of impact, and that's where I start to break down. So it looks like I got some kind of bruising going on. We got the homemade ice bath. We're gonna take care of this. So to build up this volume, I decided to take a page from the weight room. Because I didn't want to spend hours each day walking or running, I decided to increase the weight so that I could do less reps and still get some really good quality work in. Day 16 of complaining about my foot. The ice bath definitely helped yesterday, but still not feeling 100%. This challenge had a lot of difficult days, especially towards the end. 
It felt like even when I went for a short walk and upped my recovery, I wasn't able to rest enough to feel 100% the next day. Just finished three kilometers. Foot is not feeling too bad, but now my other foot and my other knee are starting to hurt just because I was compensating so much during that walk. Yeah, it's just tough because I'm more than halfway through this challenge. I really want to finish, but the goal of this challenge is to better myself. If every session it feels like I'm injuring myself or I'm getting worse or I'm waking up more sore than I was the next day. Like I'm not, I'm not hitting my goal. Just gonna have to really lean into the recovery here. See if I can turn this challenge around. I really wanna finish it out, but I may need to take a couple days off just to recover and let the feet heal up. Day 17. The hardest part of this challenge for me was definitely the relentless daily discipline that it took to get a ruck in every single day. Any one single ruck was not too difficult. I always felt that I could do more, but the difficulty was first thing in the morning when I woke up sore. Day 18. And I knew the clock is ticking for me to get outside and put my time in. This was especially important on the really hot days because I knew the longer I waited, the more I was going to suffer. Day 19. Day 20. Day 21. I'm getting real tired of this. Day 22. Day 23. One week left, and it is 38 degrees today. Day 24, let's go. Smell of fresh baked bread keeping me going on day 25. Next three days, going on a big hiking trip, so that's where I'm gonna get all my rucking in. Day 27! Day 28, doing 12 kilometers today. Day 29. 20 kilometers today to finish off this three day hike. Day 30, finally the last day of this challenge. Really uh, tested my discipline. Not any single ruck or hike was really pushing my limits, but it was just the consistent grind. Every day having to wake up, knowing I'm gonna throw this big heavy bag on. I'm definitely excited to take a rest day tomorrow, finally. <sighs> finally done. Over the past 30 days, I hiked over 150 kilometers and I accumulated a total moving time of over 24 hours. So over a full day of hiking over the past 30 days. It averages out to about 5 kilometers a day and about 50 minutes a day of moving. Alright, it's a couple days after the challenge is finished. I'm just chilling in the sauna, recovering and I'm feeling pretty good. It was weird, not the first day after, but the second day after, my body was extremely sore, like everything, my toes, my feet, even my hands, my back, my legs, of course, my hips. The accumulation of all the, the miles had caught up with me, and one day later, it just really set in. But that was a couple days ago. I'm feeling a lot better. My routine's been pretty much the same. Uh, done a few hikes, but haven't done any rucks like weighted rucks or anything like that. So the results. Now, I didn't expect the results to be too crazy and they weren't. I lost about a kilo, but on a day-to-day -day basis, my weight fluctuates like a kilo or two. So that doesn't really mean too much. But that being said, I was definitely eating way more than I usually do. I'm guessing it was probably close to 800 calories a day. On average, I was eating more. It'd be late at night and I'd be cooking up a grilled cheese sandwich or making a bowl of cereal or something like that. Something I usually don't do. As for my measurements, nothing really changed there. Uh, I might have gained a couple centimeters on my quads. As for my body composition, I feel like may have had a slight change, maybe slightly leaner, look a little bit better. If anything, I'd notice my back has a lot more definition. So the before and after on that is a little bit different, but I don't really see too much of a difference in anything else. But I can definitely say that my hiking fitness has improved. Just yesterday, me and Lady, we went out and we hiked two mountains back to back. And they're about two hours, two and a half hours each that we spent on the mountain. And my legs, my feet, they felt absolutely fine after that. So the goal of the challenge was complete. Like my hiking fitness has improved and I didn't have to spend hours and hours hiking every day. I think my longest hike, if you exclude the overnights and stuff like that, was about an hour, maybe slightly over an hour. So really easy to fit into my regular routine. And like I mentioned, this is definitely something I'm gonna keep using in my regular routine. I like the rucks. It's just an easy thing I can just throw on my backpack, go for a walk around the neighborhood, and 
there's my workout. So overall, I'm really happy with the challenge. I really put my discipline to the test on this one and I'm proud of myself for setting a goal and sticking to it every single day for 30 days. So now it's time to put all this fitness to work. Just a couple days, I'll be heading off to Europe and doing a ton of mountain climbing there. So make sure you tune in next time for another adventure.